group of us from our PLC looked at flip learning. Flip learning seems to be the new buzz term in education, and is when students learn new content online by watching videos, video lectures and making notes, usually at home before the lesson. And what used to be homework is now done in class with teachers offering more individual guidance and interaction with students. There is no whole class teaching at the front, and class time is either spent with students working at their own pace through differentiated questions or carrying out practical work after learning the theory during the video. We decided to look at this as it seemed to be something new that ticked a lot of boxes. It would allow for greater differentiation in the classroom, improve independent learning by the students and force us to improve our technology skills in the making of the video. So how did we go about it? The four of us approached it in different ways. Emma in maths launched straight into it and used pre-made videos from Hegarty Maths with a Year 11 class who needed to catch up with the course. Emma then moved on to making her own videos and putting them in Dropbox and, and sending the students a link. Here's an example. The first key word is that these two shapes are similar. We can see that their lengths are in the ratio 1 to 2. So I immediately know that the areas are in the ratio 1 squared to 2 squared. The volumes of these shapes will be in the ratio 1 cubed to 2 cubed. And I'll just make a note of that and actually that's got me marks. So A is the smaller shape, it has a volume of 80. Um, B as a volume is 8 times bigger. So what I do is I write down volume equals 80 times 8 and that's 640. In music, John made podcast lessons which he uploaded onto YouTube and John also put music and lessons on the new Muse site. These were trialled with GCSE classes. In science, Claire eventually got round to making her own videos and uploaded them onto a YouTube channel called Stunning Chemistry. The whole topic of lessons on the transition metals was developed and delivered to a Year 13 class. These lessons are now being repeated to all of Year 12 AS Chemistry students. These videos are just voiced over PowerPoint similar to this film. Julie, on the other hand, initially used pre-made MyGCSE science videos on a topic on quantitative chemistry with a Year 10 class and has now begun to, begun to make her own videos capturing chemistry demos and solutions to past paper questions. So what do the students think? The student feedback at Key Stage 5 has been overwhelmingly positive. It really surprised all of us. They absolutely loved it. Here are some quotes from maths and science students. It meant that if I couldn't do a question, I could go back to the video and keep going back to the video in the run-up to the exam. It was great learning at your own pace. I found them really useful, especially as you were speaking in the background and so explaining every step as you did it, which made the questions much easier to understand. Also, having them as a video means that you can go through them as many times as you need to understand it and can pause it when you're going a bit quick. I honestly don't think they need to be improved. The feedback at Key Stage 4 was a little more varied. 70% enjoyed the videos and learning in this way, although 30% of the class would have preferred to have listened to their teacher. The comments were also more mixed. Many enjoyed working at their own pace and testing their own understanding. However, negative comments including not liking the videos because the students had a poor work ethic and because the video only explained it in one way and, the, and your teacher isn't there to explain it in a different way. So, what now? It's definitely been a learning curve, but we're all committed to continue developing our flipped learning videos and lessons. It's not just about the video. What students do in lessons is just as important as why bother with the video. If you'd like to know more, we're delivering a twilight inset in the first half term next year and we'll be happy to answer any of your questions.